The murrelet is classified as a threatened species in Oregon. A species is really unique because it's a seabird and it gets all of its food from the ocean where it moves inland into an old growth forest for breeding. This week we're working with Oregon State University to test some FLIR equipment to identify nesting marble murrelets. Well, the work that we're doing today is, is hopefully going to give us information, give us data about where the birds nest during the breeding season, which is, appears to be critical to their conservation at the current time. We're using drone technology to essentially find a needle in a haystack. Looking for birds in trees is very difficult visually, so we use infrared technology by FLIR, and that helps us differentiate between the heat signatures and infrared signatures, which makes birds in trees easier to find. So typically, if we have a bird that has a radio telemetry tag on it, what we need to do is go to the nest site very early in the morning when the birds are coming to and, and moving from the nest. And that often involves a small group of people going out. It's a very short window of time that they have to determine whether the birds are coming and going from a particular nest tree. And if we don't see which particular tree or which location, we have to do it the next day and do it over and over. So what we're trying to do is see if we can use UAVs to kind of shortcut that um, give us a broader period of time during the day. We could go out in the middle of the day or in the afternoon to see if birds are there. And it also gives us an opportunity to have potentially fewer people on the ground. Um, and instead of having a large group of people, um, we can maybe go out with just a couple of folks to, to determine where that nest may be. We can work up through that. NOAA's partnering with the Oregon State University and Oceans Unmanned to use both unmanned technology and FLIR equipment. And it gives us a much different view of the canopy than what we would have otherwise. Uh, NOAA uses unmanned technology for a variety of requirements, including biological monitoring. We found that the infrared technology is probably the best to find a bird in a tree, and FLIR has the best product out there for infrared technology with drones because again they're compact and the battery life outlasts the drones we're using so that's not an issue and it's uh, it's just a user-friendly interface that uh, is, is key when you're out in the middle of nowhere with no support. The birds really pop uh, and are easy to see so the FLIR View Pro attached to the Phantom 4 has become a, a very valuable tool and it's kind of a leading candidate for the combination we want to use for this project. It's, it's our hope that these tools can just basically, you know, increase the scientific knowledge so we can make management decisions in the future that are based on better science.